Hello everyone, we are seeing a little bit more cloud cover than expected today. The development of some very light showers out there as well. Let's take a look at the Doppler network. We can see just a very, very light precipitation from Great Falls northward. Nothing more than just a few stray raindrops out there. But with that uh, precipitation developing, we have seen an increase in our cloud cover. And we can see that a little bit better if we look at the high resolution satellite. Now, we do have a lot of clouds that have developed between about Great Falls and the High Line, where earlier in the day we were dealing with sunshine, and I should be able to zoom this out. Yeah, I am. You can see off to the north, there's still a good amount of clearing, and that is going to be headed our way as we head into the evening hours. So, clearing out as we go into the evening, as I said, probably a little bit more cloud cover than we're seeing here on Future Track, and it does do a good job of picking up those showers. Those should be out of here by late tonight. And that's when I think the skies are really going to start to get pretty clear. A couple clouds, maybe even a little bit of fog as we head into tomorrow morning. But by tomorrow afternoon, things are nice and sunny. It's looking like a beautiful day. Good day to get outside. Unfortunately, things are still pretty wet and muddy out there. So I think we can compromise. I think tomorrow's looking like a pretty good day to break out the barbecue. Nice and sunny through the day. By the evening, looking at 40s, even some 50s out there. So nice and comfortable. I think my plan for the weekend is to break out the grill overnight tonight, falling mainly into the 20s, so temperatures not too bad out there. Highs tomorrow, not bad either. I think we'll get into the 50s for places like Great Falls and Haver and Cutbank. A little bit cooler in Lewistown and Helena. High temperatures here, excuse me, wind gusts tomorrow, pretty light once again, so calm winds continuing. But, of course, I mentioned it's still wet, it's still muddy. We still do have flood concerns. We have seen some changes to that, though. We've seen these... Uh, flood advisories really start to shrink so we have the flood advisory dropped out for fergus county judith basin county still parts of central montana and off into northeastern montana we have those flood advisories the flood warning has been dropped along the missouri and northeastern fergus county it looks like the ice jam there has broken up and uh, unfortunately hiding behind the city of glasgow but we do still have a flood warning along the milk river so some river flooding in northeastern montana is still a problem as we head into the weekend thanks for watching